Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to look at something different to an actual, um, something, sorry, my dogs are joining. These are my therapies. Um, we have to use the other one. Hang on just a sec. Oh, there she is. Go on, go and find a seat, you two, so I can talk. Um, so, uh, girls, no, I think. Um, so, we're looking at neurofeedback today. I have had to keep going, I'm sorry. Um, we're looking at neurofeedback today because it is a way, it's uh, training the brain actually, and it's certainly I found that it's worked with the students that I've had who had challenging behavior, emotional and behavioral difficulties, depression, um, childhood bipolar syndrome, um, ADHD. So it has certainly helped children with those conditions that I have worked with in the past. Um, it's been a great help actually. And certainly one of the students, his carer came in to see me after he'd only been using the system for 10 days to say that the change in um, the child was huge and he was now able to reason things out. He hadn't slept through the night before, bearing in mind he was 10 years old, he hadn't slept through the night and neural feedback had enabled him to do that. In fact, he would stand at the bedroom door watching him sleep because it was such a change. He also was able to reason out. So when he was challenged by, by another child, um, he said that um, it was wrong and they shouldn't fight. Um, and he had managed to reason out things in his mind for himself. So it helped him tremendously and carried on um, helping him um, long after he'd uh, finished having the brain training, which for him went on for a better year. But his behaviour incidences went down from 30 incidences a week to at the most three incidences a month. And we could always find the reasons behind those incidences as well. He never ever needed drug treatment. So um, I found, that's just one instance, but I've certain, certainly found with all students that received neural feedback for which it was deemed appropriate, um, it worked. So um, there's many videos that you can find on, um, on YouTube um, about brain training. And um, yes, so I, yeah, so I would say that it's very good. So the system that we used was um, NeuroOptimal, um, which you can um, use a search engine to find out about. What we did is we trained a member of staff in the use of um, NeuroOptimal in um, neurofeedback. And that member of staff then was able to come back and train other members of staff to deliver the um, actual program. Now, what you can do is while the neurofeedback is um, doing its course, as it were, um, which is about 20 minutes you can have, or you can have 40 minutes, um, however long you deem is necessary, and then you have top-ups um, as and when you, you feel it's necessary. We started with every single day, um, the child going in and having neurofeedback, and then as it progressed throughout the year, it may be that he required a top-up uh, once or twice a week and then we would use it like that. Um, so he would have the uh, attachments um, that go onto the head, he would have them fixed on, but he was able to then play on his iPad for all the time that he was re receiving um, brain training. So um, all I can say is that in my experience, it works um, certainly better than um, somebody being on medication, which could stop once the medication is stopped. Um, whereas once you've had neurofeedback and you've done the brain training, it works and you, uh, you know, I suppose you could refresh it. We certainly didn't have to use a refresher, but I'm not saying that's not something that can't be done. I'm sure it can. Um, so I just wanted to let you know about that. So there are, um, I may have said already, on YouTube, certainly some um, people who are using it regularly that you'll be able to see it in action um, if you just um, search for it. Mm -hmm. So you can search under brain training or you can search under neurofeedback or possibly even under neurooptimal, which is the one that we used. Um, so, um, oh, and the trainer who trained my member of staff found that um, 
he also, his wife also trained in it because she was um, a, um, supporting students with dyslexia in the, in the traditional methods of supporting them. And, and I certainly in my past uh, supported students with um, dyslexia. And she used the traditional methods, but once she tried the brain training, the, the neurofeedback, um, she found that that worked faster and just as well, if not better, than the traditional methods of um, that she'd used in the past. So all in all, um, this is just a short um, video from my channel recommending that this is another possibility that you might want to try um, to get for your child, which is neurofeedback training. Perhaps instead of a different kind of therapy, this might work for your child better. Okay, so it's all about finding what works. Take care. Bye.